Hello, buddies, it's me, Jester Dirama. What's up? So, today, we are going to play a certain sci-fi horror called Soma. And what happens in it, I have no idea, because I haven't researched the game, so I'm going in literally blind. Well, I can still see in the game, but I'm playing blind. You know what I mean. <clears throat> Anyways, let's get to it. And hey, Morsapple, what's up? Okay, let me just close out a few things and we'll be on our merry way. Okay, here's the nice creepy menu. Now let's look at the controls first, because I want to know about those. It's always important to know how to play. <laughs> Are we going to have a bad time? Yeah, seems all okay. Well, time for us to get started. This is going to be interesting. I have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> And we're loading, we're loading. Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, doesn't go away. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. This is Simon, interesting. Please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Okay, what happened there? <laughs> Crickin' phone. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. Tracer It'll fluid. help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Nice room. Now where is the tracer fluid? Where did I put the tracer fluid? I just asked that. soon love mom oh how sweet thank you again for participating in our research the scan will be performed at the pace laboratories in toronto but since we are guests our access is a bit unpredictable i will try to schedule a scan session for saturday i'll get back to you when confirmed sincerely david munchie um Dear Mr. Jarrett, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for pre prezosin, to help you with your nightmares. Please ne read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest, and I will see you next week. Sincerely, Dr. Aaron Peak. Okay, something about... <laughs> Forgot to hit send. Oh. Does it matter? I already told him about it. I'll send. 
Hi, Jesse. Since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got that doctor's appointment tomorrow, i.e. I'm not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store. And please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They are studying to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they are put on shelves where people are actually able to see them. Good luck, you'll need it, Simon. Better late than never. Yep. Okay, now how do I get out of here? Okay, I right click, that's right. It's like a samurai bomber man. <laughs> Whoops. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? Massive recoil. Okay. That's the front door. I don't want to go that way. Uh, in here? Jeez, I'm trying to find a simple thing and I can't find it. Push in the toilet. There we go. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. Okay. Mapping Minds. Albert Isaacson. Where in the world did he put it? Dude, where did you put the frickin' tracer fluid? Nope. Nope. Oh, what's this? Hooked. Oh, that looks nice. Robin McConnell. Yep, I'm doing a great job here. I can't find anything. Nothing but fast food. Should buy something healthier on my way home. Prison hold R. Oh crap. Get back in there. There we go. All right. Where is the freaking light when you need it? There we go. Seriously? Where the crap is the freaking tracer fluid? Can't find it. I don't see it. I am at a total loss. Uh. Criminy. The heck? Oh, something. That's some strong glass. Where in the world did he put it? Barefoot in the snow? Oh no, it's the ocean. Or something like that. Grab a meet and greet. Air and peak. Some prescription thing. I have no idea who that is. Yeah, nice image. 
There it is. Oh, for Pete's sake, it was in this freaking disc over here. To use an object, press left. Feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Nice narration. Hopefully it's not blood. <laughs> Summer blockbusters. Japanimation. Bigger than ever. Stuns versus CGI. Yeah. And anything important in here? Huh. Doesn't appear to be. Excuse me. Well, I think we can probably get moving. Sim Jarrett. Yay, trash. Adventure! Sir. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris helping me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Working in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, I know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. He seems nice. Don't tell me you're falling asleep. So, okay, here we go. A room under maintenance. Hello? Instruction. Dr. Munchie? Jeez, kind of creepy in here. Where is everyone? Thought this place would be busy. Yeah, this isn't spooky at all. Oh yeah, it's can can we're in Canada. Toronto. This is the place, right? It must be. It's called David Munchie. Let's just call Munchie real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. Really? It's okay. I can figure this out. Uh, can I move this? Apparently not. Let's see what's behind the desk. Oh. Let's just kind of sneak in here and see what's up. Scan now. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got a hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Get your stuff ready. From David Munchie. Now oh, let me check who the last one. Oh, that was David. Hi, Paul. Talked to Pace about using the lab this week. I have managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models and also if time slot. Uh, oh, can't your word right? If a time slot opens up. We can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. 
I thought we could run some tests tomorrow and we could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Aaron Peak will some have some, ugh, will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Uh, should be interesting. David. Locked out. Alright, so I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change. So I called security, talked to Professor Wei, and I, or Y, to have him vouch for our project, and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in emails or texts, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Paul. I need to look for a note. And eh, nothing there. Let's check the drawers. Is that the code? Two five oh one. I'll give it a shot. Okay. I'm not going to read all this at the moment. Just about information and scans and, uh,. Yeah, nothing but brain matter. Let's try the code. If that was a code. 2501. Oh! Success! Man, you run loudly. That doesn't look too good or promising. Nope, nothing there. Nothing I can do there. Ah. Do I have to move the clips? Well, I won't worry about that now. Okay, can't do anything there either. Ow, door in my face. Head hurt. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever hmm. you're ready. I wonder if I get different results with different choices. So, what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. Well, I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> yeah, right. You know I have a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. And if you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. I really hope you're right about this. Me too. This could make a huge difference for how we treat people with brain damage. 
So, what do you say? Should we get going? Sure. Kind of nice to see you. Let's get started. Models. Take a seat. Oh, hey, I can see, see my body. That's fun. <laughs> Oh, is this where we start going into a different world? All right, let me just get this out of the way. That's interesting. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version six. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That so. Someone's uh, a little paranoid. Let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? No, we're somewhere different. This isn't funny. Let's get I, up. I'm not supposed to put myself in. This is kind of stressing me out. All right. What is this place? How did I get here? This is interesting. So insert Omni tool. Yeah. Good luck with that. Oh wait, that's me. I have to look for it. Dang it. I'm really wondering what to do about this place. Well, time to solve a way to get out of the room. That's not gonna do me any good. Fantastic. Oh, hey, it's Cherry. Hello. Oh, you knocked me over. Yes, I did. How does it feel? It feels horrible. All right. Oh, jeez, what the heck? Well, I guess I can always use Cherry to get out of here. Question is, where in the universe am I? Pneumatic seal. This is a really interesting skin, don't you know? <laughs> This static. Whoa. 
Okay. Hey you. Can you talk? Can you talk like the others? Why are you like this? What am I like? <laughs> Okay, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, you're creepy as hell, so I'm gonna shut you down. How did I do that? Oh, wait. Wait a second. One of them ran off. That's nice. So, no idea which way he went, but I'm sure I'll run him into him later. What is that supposed to be? Okay. Yeah, I don't need any tea. Unless it's majesty. Because there's nothing like a majestic tea. And I'm just rambling, just because. <laughs> Did it better than expected. It's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can, rather than not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comp set. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we're leaving on power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. Yay, it's the bathroom and someone broke a mirror. How dramatic. Did someone not flush the toilet? Do I start running yet or not yet? Did I come from that way? That doesn't look quite right. It looks kind of torn through. Okay, that's a little bit spooky. So I'm supposed to be running from a robot or something? Oh, jeez. What am I trying to avoid? Interesting. Nice and dark in here, isn't it? I 
I'm a little bit lost. Or maybe not. Where does this take me? Ah, dang it, I don't have an Omni tool yet. Wow, you run very loudly. Let's see what's behind door number one. Oil and other gunk. Hey, this is an Omni tool, okay. Hitting tab to see my inventory. Oh, he's headless. That's nice. So, do I start running yet or not yet? Oh, jeez. Was nice and spooky. Hey, kind of horrifying, isn't it? Thing with the Zomni tool other than just try to scan it. And not up to too much, just trying to survive in some uh, random space place, space age place. Other than that, I'm fine. Where do I go with this? Tense, isn't it? What does this say? Automated. Unlock terminal from service console. I have no idea what to do. Again. <laughs> Insert Omni tool to access. Okay. This is going to get me out of here. Service console up to room three, including pilot seat activated. This is my inventory. Um, okay. Yep, this is my first playthrough. I'm going in blind. I have no idea what to expect. <laughs> Hmm. 
Welcome back, Louise Muron. Your Omni tool is in perfect condition, but not fitted with a tool chip. Note that without a tool chip, your FST kit will be unavailable, including your cross-site security access. To continue using your designated privileges, please insert a tool chip and run an update. I don't have a tool chip. Match Cortex chip. Welcome back, Louise. Your Omni tool is in perfect condition, blah, blah, blah. You're currently being serviced by the default onboard agent, Helper Jane. Note that installing a Cortex chip will override the helper and may severely alter your user experience. Cortex chip not inserted. Like a cerebral cortex, are we talking? Unlike toolbox, okay. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pesos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running. But there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knock down the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors. Basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that on the tool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes okay. you need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. Oh, geez, like it's in dead space all over Take again. Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. He's a bit grumpy sounding. Is this the tool chip? Okay. Tool chip found. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. Do I just put this somewhere or what? Where's the Cortex chip? This card is useless. Eh. Reports, okay. Pilot report number 01053. Task, replace heat shields. Result, success. Notes, Semkin reported uncharacteristic levels of nausea after the mission. Diagnostics show a spike of electromagnetism surrounding the pilot helmet, which is believed to be the cause of Semkin's symptoms. No indication to what created this anomaly. Attention! The pilot system has become increasingly unreliable. Everyone who's been using it the last couple of months has been having headaches and spells of nausea. Last week, Gavin was knocked out for 30 hours when trying to direct helper a helper cluster. This is not acceptable. We will figure this out, but for the time being, I'm shutting down the usage of the pilot system. This means you will have to do some more heavy lifting, performing the operations through programming, or physical labor. No one is happy about this, so don't bother complaining. Jane Adams. <laughs> Alright. Shield. Or, excuse me. Chief Factor. Why was I saying shield? Pilot seat number three. In progress, I have no idea what that is. Okay, construct network. The pilot found. The pilot. Okay, nothing I can really do here. Ah, can't see.
Didn't I just turn this on before? Yay! I'm stuck! Oh hey, the gate got knocked over. That's nice. Isn't this delightfully spooky? Well, I don't think I can do anything here yet. <sighs> Nothing like just wandering around some space station or something. Expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can, or they don't take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to log up. Oh boy. I don't know what to do. Are these things? Hmm. If only I had a lantern. the door I can't tell it's too dark to see anything And throw it across the room. Yeah. This is not a drill, or maybe it is. If I got the screwdriver, does that mean I'm screwed? Okay, now for the tool puns. to flap my Omni tool. Whatever my Omni tool is. I lost my Omni tool. Thank you. <laughs> Tool is advanced, interface access managing, blah blah blah. Once oh, over the time. Well, David's programs uh, cover his subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize user error. Okay, I'll read this a little bit. The Omni Tool is an advanced interface for accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. The onboard intelligence includes an open set of behaviors and protocols to enable the user to automate routine actions through basic 
logical charts. Over time, the Unity tool will automatically adapt its programs to cover subconscious behavior. Okay, I read that. The Omni tool has a short-range signal useful for basic or automated actions such as opening doors while performing complex operations. The Omni tool should be physically connected to a workstation or terminal. To upgrade your device, simply slide operators into the main or the auxiliary so slot. The main slot has a standard C11-21 connector which allows the user to fit most market cortex chips into the omni tool note the introducing addition note the intru yeah. introducing an additional ai will override the onboard intelligence the auxiliary slide is a multi con connector fitting a large range of tool chip models including but not limited to a1 and these are just model numbers oh geez well thanks I could have just read like off of that. What? It doesn't really look like a screwdriver. I don't have a hammer, so how can it be hammer time? Eh, there's nothing to get in here. Where's the cortex chip? Where is something? And I just totally threw that box randomly in accident and got a basket in a drawer. Uh. Where do I go? What do I do? I'm making plenty of noise, so I'm pretty sure if I was going to be a monster, he would show up right now. Oh. Oh, there's nothing in there for me to be caring about. So pleasantly dark. Yay, I'm uh, lost. <laughs> I have no idea where I put my Omni tool. Let's try this again. Okay, I've been in here. One of the bots ex escaped. Or something. Wait a second, here we go. I kept missing this frickin' room here. Okay, there we go. Now I can just update the Omni tool with security ciphers. Tool chip security cipher updated. Now can I finally. Oh, I can. Level three. Oh, did I accidentally put it in the right spot? <laughs> All right. 
Let's hope we don't run into anything. Usually when I jinx it, it's throughout this time that something happens. Oh! As I was saying, usually about this time. Spooky. Let's get through this door and hope that nothing jumps. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, it's light. Okay, I'm underwater somewhere. I thought I was in space. Okay. I'll take it. Friggin' Bioshock knockoff. for storyline stuff. Did the other door close? Can't tell. Eh. I'm fine. I'll be fine. More oil! Texans would be happy to see this. What in the world is this? Ah! Touch the bottle. What was that? Oh, joy. Let's plan through the events like Isaac did in Dead Space 2, was it, or something? Well, I can't crawl faster, so this is gonna be nice. following something big. I can't get out that way? Okay. That was worth a shot. Get out this way. Station control. Okay. Let's see what we can discover here. Even more ooey gooey infectious stuff. Just look at all this stuff. What in the heck? What are you doing, robot? Hey, can you hear me? What are you doing with the weird anuses?
Um, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Don't touch the structure gel leakage. Can't confirm its effect on WAU. Issues been reported to SSE wall check. What happens if I do this? Okay, that was spooky. Now I feel bad. I'm sorry I killed him. connected to hey bunch of error stuff um no idea what I'm doing move cherry Didn't I have to kill him though, or her? Hey, everyone is offline except for Lambda. Oh, what is. What, what's happening? Hello, is there anyone there? Hey, hey, can you hear me? I hear you. Uh, Absalot, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you... Oh, so, so anyways, where are you now? Uh, 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 some place dealing with electrical power. I I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. 
Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Oh. Listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Answering the call. Got an achievement. Broken door. Oh boy. Whoa! Well, isn't that nice? What was that? What the heck are you? Okay, I'm guessing I need to move. Oh, damn. Now it's getting faster. That's nice. Yeah, it's running time again. Oh, jeez. Seems to have trouble with stairs. All right, this will be interesting. I still feel bad about that one robot I killed. I hope it was, that was necessary, because if that wasn't necessary, I'll feel even worse. <laughs> Amy, is that you? What happened to the pilot seat? What the? Oh. Am I talking to the robot? Hey, I can hear you moving. What are you? Are you blind? It's me. Carl. Carl Semke. Wrangler? Any of this sound familiar to you? I... no, actually. Well, thanks for being so helpful. It's not like I'm knocked out on the floor or anything. That's nice. Are you... human? Shit. Did, did my body give it away? I try hard to save a mystery. Yeah, I'm human. Are you? Uh, my name is Simon. Do you know anything about this place? Oh, you knew. That makes us slightly less weird. Look. I'm obviously hurt. If you see anyone else around, just tell them where I am. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay, that was bad. I'm really hurt. I I'm sorry. I I think I pulled the wrong lever. Oh, don't sweat it. Just get me a doctor. Um, crap. Check terminal for details. 
Yeah. I don't know what to log in with. Yay, I'm at a total loss. Trying. I just don't know how to get further. Don't let me die here. Let's go through here and see what spooky things we can find. Oh god, he's dead? He's dead. Oh, that's Carl Semkin. Oh, seven twenty-two. Gonna go back. Shield burnt out, turbine overheating, quick disrupt plateau channel, and the blackout, Om Omicron blackout, delta surface blackout, heat shield burnout flues. Or flu S. Now what does this one do? Okay, here we go. Re Re Epsilon Auto Process. Power production has been secured. We've sealed off the factories to keep the plant running. Yeah, plant running. All superfluous systems have been turned off. If anyone ever has to return, know that the power flow regulator is hanging by on by a thread. If you flip the switch, it's probably a no turning back situation. We're out of here, Carl. Okay. And send that. Mail that sent. Link can not be established. Okay then. Insufficient power. Solution not found. Storage on. Flow control on. Comp center. Solution found. Shut down one of the highlighted sections to divert power to the communication center. I'll try the other way. Strain the system. If you pull this lever, there's no turning back. Make sure you want it bad enough. Um. Fred. Guessing that's a uh, way out oh, with <laughs> troublesome water.
Um, really depends on the coffee or the tea. Tell me I killed him. Crap. Ah, oh, man. Spooky imagery. Man, dang it. Here we go again. Surprisingly, that robot's not really all that spooky. to turn around. So the Epsilon to keep it working, don't fuck it up. Eh, Carl, it was not my fault. Oh, back.
Not all that spooky the monster, to be honest. Stopped. Isn't that nice? No way! Really? Okay, I think it's enough fighting for now. get past that thing somehow. Okay, I think I'm safe. I'll be okay. <laughs> I hope this dude just friggin' leaves. And now it's more of a waiting game. So how are you dudes in the stream? this jerk one way or another. Freaking camper. idea where I need to be going. Yeah, 
It's running time. Oh no, I'm stuck. Not cool, man. Not cool. Well, time to run. Oh no, I can't do anything there. Oh, I can't do anything there. Oh great, I'm on a gate. I can barely read that. Please reboot. High pressure steam. Yeah, you don't say. Okay, I'm stuck again. Yep, this is PC. Mm. Freaking camper. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. Okay, he's on his clothes. back up that way. So I have to go forward. Oh wait, it didn't go to this area. Oh, dang it. He sounds close. going here. Okay, this did me a world of good.
ERGB and noise. Where to go? This whole game's a puzzle, I swear to God. Okay, Robo Monster. You can move now. Ugh. You're making me bored there, Monster. Can't see me. No. Nope, move. Ah, oh, man. Dang it. I don't know what to do. That's what I get for going in blind. See you later, Oswald. Thanks for coming. Is this ain't Simon? I thought the robot said Simon. doesn't do anything. Spotted. Um, crap.
Okay, what do I do with storage? Am I able to go up now? Looks like it's good to me. Get me out of this place. Get me out of this space. Haha! <laughs> Safe spot. Oh yeah. New York. Message Jonesy or is it Jonesy? The office is closing down and everyone is being evacuated. From everyone here, I want to say it's been an honor working with you in Epsilon. Godspeed and good luck with the apocalypse. Okay. What does it mean? Oh, thanks. Message. Update on the defense measurements. Final efforts by the global community prevent collision has failed. Pathos 2 should make any final efforts to deal with the inevitable quake following impact. Estimated time for impact 513. Liz. London. Dear Miss Vid Vigdis Johns 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 Deter. I don't know. <laughs> it's with great sadness I have to inform you that the office will close and can no longer support Upsilon and Pathos 2. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you and your supervisor, Jane Adams, and the rest of the staff. You are a terrific group, and it's with great confidence I say that where we fall, you will surely carry on with bravery. Sincerely, System Director James Bloom. Cadiz. Jonesy, or Johnsy. I know you have much better chance for survival, but we have the better view. Salute. Let's see what we can find out with this. Lumar link broken. Manual input required. Oh boy. Let's see what happens when I do this. Okay. Right, theta, okay. You're not back here. Here. Let's try Lambda. Are you there? I found the dome ceiling. Oh, that's better. Simon, was it? Uh, Jared. Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? Where to even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Epsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Pathos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Have you seen any people? Like, staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. This is also strange. You're telling me. Oh, that was sounds that? nice. No! What's going on? I think this place is about to collapse. What do I do? Simon, come to Lambda. Uh, how, how do I get there? There are shuttle trains connecting all the sites. Find one and come here. I'll wait for you. Oh, jeez. Shit! Shit! 
shit, shit, where do I? Where should I? Oh, oh no. no. Well, that's nice. Oh, great, he wake up underwater. What? What the hell? How is this possible? This isn't... This is insane! Well, this is unique. This is an interesting subconscious thing. If this is a subconscious thing. Get some seaweed, man. It seaweed's pretty good. Hey, fishies. I have no idea how I'm going. <laughs> What is that, a Dalek? Friend of water lights. I think the idea of traveling this way is all what? What's your story? Jeez. This game doesn't really seem all that scary at the moment. It's a rather chill game for uh, survival horror. Excuse me. Fallout. Well, 
Well, you know, Upsilon's moderately okay. Is that Lambda? Nope, Upsilon B. It's a perfect day to get lost. Again. Yeah. Having a wonderful time. Those barnacles. Anything uh, worthwhile discovery over here? No, apparently not. That's well, good to have a light, buddy. Back here at Upsilon. Oh, come on. Okay. And a jump. Hey, I made it. And that did me no good. I'm going to call you Sparky. Come on, Sparky, let's find adventure. Well, I guess I don't want to spook that red guy. Okay, Dead Space called. They want their knockoff marker back. Shuttle station. There we go. Let's hope this one opens. Oh, hello. Let's hope the enemy zone does me good. Oh man, that is a loud alarm system. Let's hope the shuttle still work. Great, I can't see anything. How did I... Where did I get a flashlight? Even hey, flashlights.
Ooh, secret tunnel. Well, I need to go back first and explore a little more. Well, I guess that's my only way. Um, apparently something for building. Manifest. Um, nothing of interest. Impact event. On this morning of January 513, the comet Telos crashed into the Pacific Ocean. The impact ranks as one of the largest collisions ever recorded on Earth. All evidence indicates that the surface has gone completely barren and is no longer able to sustain life. Pathos 2's unique location has provided unparalleled safety for our staff. Some structural damage has been noted, but no casualties reported. The largest loss was the weather and communication station located on surface platform Omega, unmanned. Which is, under the circumstances, a small price to pay. Let's play the video. I guess it's a good thing we never had any kids. Hard enough looking my parents in the eyes. They're going to a bomb shelter upstate, by the way. Along with your dad. I'm guessing someone will help him send you a message somehow. I mean, I hope they will. Hell, I'm not even sure you'll get this message. If you do, I want you to know I never blamed you for following your dreams. It just... I was just mad it didn't fit better with what I imagined our lives would be. I really wanted the picket fence, big family, you know. Oh, that's I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm proud of you. And even though it's been difficult to be separated from you, I regret nothing. I'm happy. And I really wish I was able to say this without the sky falling down. I love you, Amy. I always have. And always will. Well, that's nice. Nothing but a nice somber story for this place. This flashlight, I guess, is infinite. Masters or Holland. Tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. Oh, that's Amy. Please tell me I don't have to unplug this. Oh. 
There's nothing else I can do. I'm just killing everything, aren't I? Okay, I'm really wondering what all this stuff really is. Good times. Uh, what do I do? I ask that a lot, don't I? I mean, I'm just trying to get some progress in the game, but I can't find where to go, and that annoys the stinking crap out of me. And yeah, let's go through this rock path for like the hundredth time. Oh, didn't check out this one. Jackie! Come in, Theta. Are you okay? What? I can't. Where are you now? Jackie! I'm at the shuttle. But it's not looking good. The lights flicker like mad. I, I think the power regulator is broken. I have to fix it. I don't want to get stranded halfway to Theta. What was that? I can't hear you. Don't worry, I'll fix it. Somehow. Let's go up the stairs and see if we missed anything. There's something obvious I'm probably missing somewhere. Thanks for the heads up on using the tram, because I didn't think I could. I sure hope you're right. I can't take the tram, what the F? What the frickin' frack? What the frickin' frack? What the frickin' stack? 
What the cracker jack? I didn't see any switch to turn on anything. Oh, jeez. There we go. Frickin' obvious thing right there. Floodable airlock. Detectable pipes. Repairs it. Okay. Wait, what year is it? 2084? Okay. May 7th, 2084. Shuttle J6. Activated. Standing by. Um... Yes, I do this. Let's go. Um, let's go. I pressed the big red button. Why didn't it do anything? Hello? Oh, jeez, I have to sit in the chair to actually move? Yeah, let's go to Lambda. I guess I'm pretty sure it'd be a bad idea to go anywhere else yet. And no, I haven't played South Park's The Stick of Truth. Welcome to Pathos 2, your expressway to the stars. What started as a thermal mining operation in the 60s has now become home to the Omega Space Gun, the world's most affordable way to launch satellites and deep space probes. Our unique Atlantic Ocean location allows for this gigantic coil gun running longer than a marathon to safely launch projectiles without risk of damaging the payload with risky combustion. The station has multiple sites and has a diverse oh, group great. of engineers and scientists. Together they are able to produce, assemble, and launch the world's most sophisticated spacecrafts. In addition to our principal operation, Pathos 2 is also the home for multiple research projects within the marine sciences, including hydroculture, turbulence, and deep sea construction. We are now leaving Upsilon for Lambda. Lambda is Pathos 2's shipping dock and transportation hub. There, you will be able to find shuttle trains leading to all the other parts of the station. And transports to the surface. Okay. Good. <sighs> Gee, thanks for the emergency brakes. What's 
here. Oh great, I'm going to be going in the water. Is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you all right? The system says the section is sealed for a suspected hull breach. No, I'm not all right. What the hell happened in the world? Why are we underwater? Well, you're really out of place, aren't you? Look, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. What is that? What's going on up there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. Oh, this is Catherine? gonna be great. You okay? Jesus Christ! What the hell? There's a hole in there. Okay, this is a weird questionable thing. That still looks like an anus. I can do in here. Nope. Okay. I'll get this figured out eventually. Okay, I'm trying to close the hatch, but I can't close the hatch. Here we 
go again. There's nothing really here other than just eeriness. Wonder if I'm playing find Sparky Lambda, again. Right? I mean, really? How big can this ocean be? Hey, sprinting underwater. That totally makes sense. Hey, is that Lambda? 350 meters. Oh, great. I'm not gonna get attacked by a shark. That's nice. over there as getting his panties in a bind. Pressurized door. Wait a second, let's see what this is. Cortex chip, so I'm guessing that's what I'm gonna have to find in here. Right? Oh well, I'll find out. This must be Lambda, where Catherine is. Oh, if that's the case, I'm gonna explore a little more first. Underwater adventure! You look kind of goofy. That's your story. Well, that might be a bit too much exploring for us to have, and I'm not going to take all night just going down that way.
You know what? Fine, I guess I'll do it. I guess I'll explore and get a little bit lost. Oh, well, I guess I get limited then. Okay, this looks kind of spooky. Oh, come on. You open everything else. Is it a security clearance thing? Yep, probably is. Well, time to get heading back. Hey, Mr. Two Bit Bomber Face, where are you going? Oh, hello. Cuddling close to me, okay. I'm gonna call him Kirby. Because his eyes and his face kind of remind me of Kirby. Chasing Catherine. Achievement! Whoa, what the? take anymore. This is... Everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. You sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I... I don't... You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I... I... I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. I just need to access the computer. Oh, is that an Omnitool you're carrying? Oh, the door opener? I picked it up at Upsilon where I woke up. I don't have to do. Plug it into the terminal. Sure, whatever. <laughs> this when guy is... When the Omnitool is... is loaded, just plug my Cortex chip into the tool. What's a Cortex chip? This guy is it so dumb. It will be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Come on, I just need you to do this one thing for me. Sure, whatever. Captain Terminal 27 activated. The Omnitool is ready now. Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Why does a robot chip fit a door opener? It's standardized connect. Uh, Catherine? All right. Give this a try. 
And I'm guessing I'm gonna have Catherine with me now. Oh, that looks a lot infected. Just pretty much anything will fit. Oh, this feels weird. I'm in the Omnitool? Thanks. So, what's the project about? My project? Oh, well, I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Huh. Weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, file it. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Kath. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. Check the computer in the other room. What was it you said before? You're from Toronto? Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan, and suddenly, here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How... Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. Okay. Our buddy disappeared. Oh, that's nice. Spooky hallway. A hard hat. Can't make any sense of it. Say something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. Keep at it. I'd really like to know who thought sending a Canadian to the bottom of the sea was a good idea. Oh, jeez. This is nice. Well, I don't think I need this currently. May as well fist the butthole. <laughs> what happened before? That creature was strangely overbearing. Yeah, it basically exploded with electromagnetism. That's bad for us, right? Confusing, at least. Gives the senses a good punch. Jeez. What are you doing? Be careful. I'm not doing anything. Oh man. Freaking angry old robots. Okay, now this game's a little bit more spooky. Well, I can't do anything with that one. Those aren't good signs. Da 
Save the data recovered. Arc. Opinion poll. Interview one. Robin Bass. 2103? Okay. Are you excited about the arc? At first, I couldn't really see the point of it. But then I thought, why shouldn't we, right? I mean, if we are able to save even just a small piece of ourselves, why wouldn't we do that? So you are in favor of that. I think it's really important we do this. What are your thoughts on the Ark? It's a great idea. Finally, we have something to do. Am I right? Are you optimistic about the project's chances of, um, about the Ark reaching space? Yeah, it can definitely be done. You already solved the biggest problem, how to actually get us all in there. Now all we have to do is build the damn thing, and hope Phi is still operational. Yeah, I think we can do it, but it's not going to be easy. Okay. What are your thoughts on the art project? The idea is just incredible. By every definition. <laughs> it really makes you think about what it means to be human. What makes you say that? Beyond the basics. Beyond the superficial. I'm convinced there's something with even greater value. You have provided a platform which is not necessarily restricted to our digital progeny, but a means of actual survival. It's my sincerest belief that we can go on living through the reality of continuity. Hmm. Is this from inside the Ark? Yes. That's some early renders of the world inside. Excuse me. Looks a whole lot comfier than this place. Hmm. Interesting looking blazes. Hey, engineering. Welcome. If you are reading this, you have successfully entered the Ark. This survey is desi uh, sorry, designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue with the survey. Okay, how would you describe your physical condition? Hmm. I feel alien and visitor inside another body. Hmm. How would you describe your mental condition? Hmm. Feel disconnected. Separation of mind and body. How'd you describe your senses? I feel more sensitive and aware of my surroundings. How'd you describe the sensation of your new condition? It's disconcerting. Everything feels constructed or depressing. I can't shake the feeling of it all being fake. Well, this does place does kind of feel like it's going to be one big dream. Are you troubled by the fact that you are no longer strictly human? Somewhat, I feel like I lost myself. How do you perceive your new existence? It's something different. It's something completely different that has nothing to do with my previous self. You think this new existence will be a life worth living? 
Maybe we can find a new sense of meaning in this world. Sure. Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? Well, not yet. Your answer has been saved. Thank you for participating in the ARC team. ARC tracker. I found a tracker homed in on the ARC. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Please let it be safe. Uh, we're in the Atlantic, right? Arc within sector, okay. Let's scan Lambda. Epsilon. Not. Phi. Nope. Oh. Tau, I guess. Oh, first guess. I found it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no. It's on Earth. It's so close to Phi, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. That's not much to build a future. If we got to it, could, could we get on the Ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. Yeah, I'm sure this is going to be a great adventure. I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on, Catherine. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't take the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray the Dunbat's still working. Okay, so we go to Theta. <sighs> I don't know. It's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else is there to do? You know what? I found a sunken vessel just outside. Bet that could take us to Theta. Really? Didn't look completely out of action. It even lit up a little when I tried the Omni tool on it. Okay then, let's have a look. I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. I guess I can communicate with Catherine then. Oh. This is a pretty far cry from going from a an apartment life into this. Yeah, you kind of expect a big daddy in this kind of situation. <laughs> uh, where do I go? Oh, geez, that's a circle. Well, I think this would probably be a good time to cut off the stream, since I'm actually a half hour over what I was originally intending. 
So, I want to say thank you all for coming, thank you all for watching, and thank you all very much for your support. All of you stay awesome. I am Jesterday Rama, as you already know, and lastly, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. I shall see you guys next time. Thank you.